learners i hope you're well and you're keeping safe welcome to our today's lesson in environmental for grade three now in our today's lesson we are going to look at effects of unfavorable weather conditions in our previous lesson we looked at the unfavorable weather conditions remember we mentioned the drought and the floods so today we are going to look at the effects of unfavorable weather conditions. Remember we said that unfavorable weather conditions are bad weather. It's a bad weather that could cause harm to animals, to people and to plants. Now in our today's lesson, we are going to look at how harmful is this weather. How does floods affect people, affect plants and affect animals? At the same time, we will look at how do drought affect people, affect animals and plants. I hope you're going to enjoy this lesson as you look at the effect of unfavorable weather conditions. Now we're going to start with the first one, the floods. Remember, you looked at the pictures of the floods, right? How did you see? There was water all over, right? And with this water, there are so many things that are yet to happen. So we are going to look at the things that will most likely happen when there are floods. So the first thing that will happen when there's floods, when there's too much rain that is causing floods, is that during floods, animals, people and plants are carried away. So we say during, during floods, when there are floods, during floods, animals, animals, plants, and people are carried away. If you've ever watched the places that are likely and that are affected by the flood, you realize that animals plants and people are being carried away by the too much water that we are calling the flood. The second thing or what will happen uh, also, properties are destroyed. Properties are destroyed. So the water becomes overwhelming and a lot of things are destroyed. The shops, the buildings, the roads, the bridges and all that. So there's so many things that are destroyed during this particular time where we have the flood. Then the other thing that might happen is movement of people and goods become difficult. What is the meaning of this? People cannot move from one place to another because the water is overwhelming. There's too much water in a way that people cannot even move. How would you move when there's too much water and you can't even swim in that water? So we say people, people and animals get it hard. Move. the movement is affected because people cannot walk you can't go anywhere you can't go to school you cannot go to any place because of that water then there's another thing that might happen it happens you ever see where you, if you watch the television and they show the places that are flooded you realize that floods may wash away bridges and houses floods wash away they wash away bridges the bridges and houses so what happens you have no bridge you cannot cross to the other side because the, the bridge has been washed away the houses have been washed away so people are left homeless so it's really bad. Eh? So the floods, that's why we say they're unfavorable. They really cause harm. So you can imagine a place where you need to go to the other side. You can't move. The bridge is swept, have been swept away. There's no house. The houses have been swept away. And people are left 
homeless and so many other things that will be affected by the, the flood. Then after this, you're going to look at the drought. What effects the drought do? Or what drought brings at a place where people live? So let's look at the drought. So remember, drought is a, a long period of sunshine without any rainfall. So can you imagine uh, the situation where it's very dry, there's no water at all at all. So what happens to this situation? So that's where I'm going to say the effect of the drought. Now, when there's drought, there's lack of food. Lack of food. Lack of food, which is called the famine. When there's no food, we call there is famine. Famine is a situation where there's no food for people, there's no food for animals. And this one is caused by the, the drought. Because when there's drought, there's too much sunshine, there's no water, the plants are not getting water, the animals are not getting water. So where will you get the food? Remember, for us to have food, we get food from plants, we get food from animals. So if the place is totally dry, so meaning there's no water for us to survive. There's no water for these animals to survive so that we can depend on them. There's no water for these plants to grow well. Remember, for, for the plants to grow well so that we can get good harvest, they should, they should get enough water. So because of this, we, uh, we lack food. And this is where we call famine. And the second one, you'll realize that people and animals may grow thin and die. People and animals people and animals grow thin and die yes very true because they don't have food they're not eating so what happens to them they're going to grow very very thin and in at the end they even end up dying so a drought is a very harmful weather condition so another one what will happen again crops and trees dry crops and trees they dry why because there's no water remember for the crops to grow well they need water for the trees to grow well to do well they need water so they will end up drying. And what happens when the crops dry? You don't have food. The animals will not have anything to eat. There's no grass. Remember also the grass will be totally dry. There are no sheds where we can sit and have a good time because the trees have really dried. When you look at the leaves of the plants at the place with the drought, you realize that the leaves are even brown. They are not even green as they are supposed to be. So grass and rivers dry too. So we say grass and rivers dry too. So when the grass is really dry, animals, most of the animals feed on grass, right? So they have no food. The rivers dry. Remember there are those animals that are taken to the river to, to get the water. So the rivers are also dried. Remember that some animals that stay in water, like fish. How will you get the fish if the water in the river is really dry? So the situation during the drought season is really, really very bad. Another thing is like cows lack milk. Cows lack milk. So they end up getting little or no milk at all. So they get little or no milk, no milk at all. You can imagine that situation. The cows lack milk or they get very little milk or they don't even get it at all. And remember, we also depend on milk. We also depend on milk as, a, as food. 
So if the cows are lacking milk, then that means that we will not be able to, to drink to drink the milk. So we'll say the drought is really a bad situation because one, there's lack of food, and that's what you call famine. And then the second one, people and animals grow thin and they die because they're lacking food, they're lacking water, and all that. Then the third one is that crops and trees, they dry because they're too much sunshine for them and they cannot withstand. Then grass and rivers, they dry too. And remember when grass dry, most of the animals that we keep at home, the cow, the camel, the goat, they are really affected. Then when the rivers dry too, there are those animals that stay in the water that are most likely to die. The last one, cows lack milk in a situation where they either get little or they do not get milk at all at all. So I would like to read for you a short story that uh, talks about the effect of unfavorable weather conditions. So I'm going to read the story is about Oloibon. Oloibon is a ban. So you're going to read that story. I want you to listen very carefully because at the end of the this, I may ask you some questions. So Oloibon and his family lived in Pema village. He had a large herd of cattle. Every day, Oloibon took his herd to the plains to graze. To graze is like to go and eat the, the grass, those short plants and all that. There was a river in the plains where the animals drank water. So after these animals grazing, they would go and drink that water. Oloibon had plenty of milk and meat to feed his family. Remember, we get milk and meat from the animals. So because the animals were eating well, they could graze well, and they could even go to the river and drink water. So Oloibon was getting a lot of milk and a lot of meat so that he could feed his family. One year, the weather changed. Remember I said earlier that weather keeps on changing. So one year, the weather changed. There was no rain at all. The grass and the river dried up. Only Bones cattle had no grass to eat and no water to drink. The animals became thin. Only Bones family got very little milk from the animals. Some of the animals died. Oloibon's family suffered a lot. There was no food and water for the family. You can imagine. The place is really dry. The animals are dying. They're getting thin. They're not getting enough milk and meat where they depend on. And what happens? They end up getting no food. So there was no food and water for the family. The weather was unfavorable because of that drought. So the unfavorable weather that um, the story that you've read is about the drought. It has talked about the drought where the place was really dry, the grass dried, and the animals had nothing to eat. At the same time, they had no water to drink. So my question is, from the story, from the story, list the effects of the drought. What have you learned or what, what have you learned from the story that has been brought by the drought? Okay? So this one, I am sure you'll be able to answer. You can listen to the story once more so that you can be able to answer that, that question. Then after this, now you're going to have an activity where you will answer very simple questions that are, uh, that are concerning effects of unfavorable weather conditions. So having looked at the effect of unfavorable weather uh, conditions, I would like you to answer these questions. So the questions are, you either write true or false. Remember, we say true if it is yes, and we say false if it is no. So you're going to either write true or false, or say yes or no. First one, the first statement, people may die during floods. Is it true or false? The second one, there is enough food during drought. Is it true or false? The third one, floods and drought are dangerous to people and animals. Is it true or false? Then the last one, we should waste water during drought. Is it true or false? Should we waste the water when there are droughts? 
well i hope you're going to answer these questions very well because i'm sure you understood the lesson on the effects of unfavorable weather conditions and that comes on this brings us to the end of our today's lesson and whereby we've looked at the effects of unfavorable weather conditions thank you for your time thank you for listening remember to keep safe and see you again bye